Hello, so this question is minimum right shift to the sort of rate. So yeah, basically you are giving the inner rate. Let me just start the explanation. Yeah, so a right shift is defined, you know, i to i plus one mod by n. So the reason why you want to do this is because uh, two and three, you know, you want to go like a cir uh, circular, right? However, um, yeah, I mean this is uh, this is a trick. So first thing is you want to traverse from i equal to zero all the way to the end, and then you want to find out the peak index, which is the largest one in between. Okay, so it, if this is the case, so this is index two, right? Index two, this is index zero, one, two, three, four, right? And the length, the length is five, right? So just looking at this example. Three, four, five, one, two. So this is the the decreasing, you know, uh, slope, right? Five to one, right? So the peak index is two. The length is five. So five minus two and a minus one. Why do I why do I need to minus one? This is because our base index is zero. So this is a trick, All right? So once you understand this. Uh, basically, we can you know start the coding. This is because uh, you want to compare. So first thing you want to compare this and this, and then you want to make sure you know. Uh, I'm going to call J. J represent okay I and J. I represent uh, zero. J represent one. You want to make sure you. Uh, your j sorry your i is greater than j at least at this condition let me just switch my pointer at this condition your i is right here right your j is right here at this condition you know it is decreasing right you know it's decreasing so um, basically you want to uh, record the peak index and then you're still going to have to traverse the rest of them. If this happened again in another position, you return negative one, because you cannot have two, uh, you know, the decreasing slope in the uh, inner array. There's only one. So in this case, there's only one decreasing slope between five and one. So if there are more than one, return negative one. And then if the value if the value, so for example, 1, 3, 5, if the inner array is already sorted, so there's nothing to swap, right? Sorry, uh, there's nothing to, you know, uh, uh, shift, right? So it's return 0. So what happened to here? 2, 1, 4. 2, 1, 4. So 2 and 1, 1 and 4, and also 4 and 2, right? You compare 2 and 1 together, one and four together, four and two together. So you're, go you're going to notice two and one is what? Decreasing. One and four is increasing. Four and two is decreasing. You cannot have more than one decreasing slope. So that's it. All right, let me start coding. Uh, okay, so if the num plus size is equal to one, can I be equal to one? Yes. So you're going to return zero right now. All right, I'm going to say in peak index equal to negative 1 by default, and I'm traversing from 0 to the end. OK, and then if the num start get a i is greater than num start get a i plus 1, which is j, but you want to make sure you are in a circular, so it's only mod by n, right? And then n is what? Num star size. If this is a case, um, I think I'm missing, yeah, I'm missing the parenthesis right here. So i plus 1, mod by n, and then you get. Yeah, this is a trick. All right, once, come on. All right. Once this satisfy, you want to make sure if the peak index doesn't change, which is negative one, you're going to set the peak index 
equal to current i, right? And then else, if the peak index is already set, you return negative one. Return negative one. Now, this is not possible. Everything else return n, which is num star size minus i. Oh, sorry, minus peak index, minus one. Minus peak index is what you want to make sure there are number of element you want to shift. Minus one is because our base index is what zero, right? So that's it. All right, submit. Cool. All right. Time and space is straightforward enough. Space is constant times all of them. And that will be it. All right. See you later. Bye.